Hey everyone, my name is Riley and this video is a complete tutorial on Kittle. In this video, we will be covering everything from how you can get set up and started on Kittle, how you can find awesome designs in seconds, how you can use the designs on Kittle to create your own awesome non-copyright designs and then upload them to the print on demand supplier of your choice. So if you have just picked up Kittle or you are thinking about getting Kittle but want to see how it works, then keep watching and let's jump right into the tutorial. Before we jump in, I also want to mention that you can get Kittle free for 30 days by using the first link down in the description. Just click on that link and I will walk you through the entire sign up process to claim that free 30 days. So once you have clicked on that link, you will be taken over to this screen right here where we can go ahead and create your Kittle account. So just go ahead and click on try Kittle for free. And right here, it's going to open up with this free account area where we can sign up with either a name, email, and then creating a password or sign up with Google or Facebook. I'm going to go for Google. And then once you have entered that information, we will be taken over to this area. So it says welcome to Kittle and then gives us an option that we can choose from. So just go ahead and click on sell merchandise or print products. And then it's going to ask, how did you hear about us? So we could go for any of these. I'm just going to go for YouTube influencer. How experienced are you with creative tools? Just go ahead and select one of these. Once again, these aren't super, super important. And then we can go ahead and exit out of this. And right here, you will be taken over to the Kittle dashboard. So right along the top up here, we have all of these different templates and different things that you can create on Kittle. So we can go for all and see all of the different templates. We can create logos, labels, t-shirts, posters, cards, social media posts, covers, brand boards, and also thumbnails. If we scroll down here, we can also see different trending designs. And these are all of the different trending designs that are doing well right now, have a lot of views and have a lot of likes on Kittle. Now, as we are using Kittle for print on demand, I'm going to go ahead and create a t-shirt right here. So we can go ahead and click into t-shirts. Or if you want to create, for example, a hoodie or a mug, we could type in hoodie up here, click on hoodie. And this is going to bring up a bunch of different hoodie designs. As I said, though, we are going to go for t-shirts. So we can click into t-shirt. And then it's going to bring up all of these different t-shirt designs right here. What we can also do is go along these different categories at the top. So for example, we have animals, we can click into this section and it's going to bring up all of these different animal designs. We can do the same with a 60s and 70s retro. Once again, all of these designs are going to pop up. And if you already have an idea for your niche in mind, for example, if you are in the cat niche, we can go up here to templates and search for cat then all of these different cat designs are going to come up right here. So now that you understand how Kittle actually works, how we can navigate to different areas and how we can find what you are looking for, let's actually go ahead and create a print on demand design using Kittle. Now to do this, what a lot of people will make the mistake in doing is they will just come to Kittle, they will find a design like this, and then they will just go ahead, copy this entire design, leave it as it is, not change a single thing, download this and then upload this to their t-shirts and this is a terrible idea. First of all, this is copyright, so if the owner of this finds your print-on-demand design, they can strike it and then your entire print-on-demand account can be banned. So this is just not a very good way of going about things and I will show you exactly how I actually create my print on demand designs using Kittle without getting these copyright strikes. So what I actually do is I combine Kittle with Etsy. Etsy is a place where a lot of people sell their print on demand designs and in Etsy we can go up here and search for the design that you are creating. So I can go for a cat t-shirt just like this. And this is going to bring up a bunch of different cat t-shirts. So what I will do is find a t-shirt on Etsy that I like the look of. I will get inspiration from this 
and then I will change the design on Kittle so it's similar to the one on Etsy. This way we get design ideas from Etsy and Kittle, we combine this and then it is completely copyright free. So looking through some of these cat designs, I really like the look of this one. It says, trust me, I'm a wizard. So what I'm going to do is open this up in a new tab to save this so that I can come back and get inspiration. Now, what I'm going to do on Kittle is look through here and try and find a design with a cat and a wizard. So potentially this one could be okay. So let's keep that one in mind and let's keep looking for some more. Okay, so this one is even better. It says Meowgician. I love the photo of this cat. So let's actually go ahead and choose this. Once you have found the design that you want to go with, we can open this up. And this is going to take us over to the Kittle generator where we can start changing around this text. So what did this say? Trust me, I'm a wizard. So instead of saying Meowgician above this, I'm going to go ahead and change this to Trust me, I'm a wizard just like that and then we can see right now this looks terrible because the text is way too big but i'm just going to go ahead and literally design this in front of you so that you can see how i change my designs make them look completely different and just use this template to create an awesome design so i'm actually going to change this to custom right here and then let's move this up a little bit and i want this to say trust me at the top Okay, perfect. Let's actually make this a little bit smaller, just like that. And then I'm going to copy this text and paste it in down here. And in here, instead of trust me, this is where it says, I'm a wizard. I want this on. And then I'm going to delete this, move this further down, drag this out. Okay, just like that. Now we can make this a little bit smaller. And then what I'm going to do is click into this right here and move this around to make this go the other way. That looks awesome already. Now this cat image looks awesome, but what I'm going to do is go into elements and see if there's any others that I want to use instead. So I can search in here for cat wizard and let's see if there's any I would rather replace this with. I don't think so as this looks super cute, but let's look through. Hmm, okay, I don't think we want to change this, but we change the text, everything like that. The only thing that I want to do now is look through some of these fonts to see if there's anything that I would change this to. I actually like this one, a clonica. You can see it looks almost pretty magical right there. Let's just reduce this text size to make sure everything is in. So that is at the top, then we can do the same for the bottom, a clonica, and just make sure the text is the same size. So right now this is 184, 139, um, okay let's make this 139 as well. Okay, so all we need to do now is just make sure this is in the center, then grab all of this, make sure this is all in the middle. And just like that, I have created my first design on Kittle. Maybe I want to go in here and I'll tell you what, let's maybe move this around a bit, give it more of a jig, just like that. Okay, awesome. I really, really like that. Once again, we'll just center this, make sure this is all in the middle and boom. There is my first design that I created in literally about five minutes in front of you on Kittle. And this looks absolutely fantastic if I do say so myself. So once you have created your design, before we go ahead and download this and actually upload it onto different t-shirts and hoodies and everything like that, first of all, we can have a look at a mock-up and see how this is going to look. So if I put this on a t-shirt right here, that looks really awesome and I don't usually use the designs that I create in example videos because people usually steal them, but this one I'm probably going to use anywhere. I really, really like this. So that is how this will look on a t-shirt. We can also take a look at how this will look on a candle. And this design just seems to fit everything. Let's have a look on a sweater right here. Awesome. So I'd just like to check this because sometimes the design can look awesome in the editor. 
But when we try this out on different mockups, sometimes it doesn't look as good. Definitely not the case for this design. The final thing that we need to do in here is of course, click into the background color and turn the opacity down to zero. Whoopsie, just like that, so that we can actually upload this design. Then we can click on download, download this as a PNG. And now I'm going to go ahead and upload this to Redbubble. So I'm now in my Redbubble solid dashboard. Let's go ahead and upload new work. And then right here, we can see the design I have just created. Let's go ahead and open that up and we can call this magic wizard cat, just like that. Then for the tags, let's just go in here and put a bunch of different cat tags. And this is usually what I do. Every time I upload to Redbubble, I make sure to fill the tag section. Then we can add a nice description. So we can put this on the t-shirt. That looks awesome. Make sure everything is enabled that I want to be right here. Have all of that on. And I'm just going to go through and optimize all of these listings before I post this to my store. Once all of that is done, we can go down to the bottom here and I'm going to post this on my store just like that. So just like that, in about 10 minutes, I created an awesome design with Kittle and uploaded it to my Redbubble store. So that is my complete tutorial on Kittle. If you found this video valuable, don't forget to smash that like button and tap that subscribe button. And until next time, take it easy.